We got more parts in the mail. About to unbox it. So I ordered an intake. Aluminum piping, decent welds. Comes with a heat shield. This is a cheap filter, I'm going to be buying a K&N one, either way, all I want is the piping. So, yeah, for 73 bucks, can't go wrong, I guess. So today, we're gonna be removing the stock intake and putting in my new DNA, basically engine knockoff. Um, so gonna be removing this, this annoying intake generator and throwing that puppy in. Hopefully get a little bit better throttle response, um, some horsepower and better sound. So let's get started. So now to install the heat shield, there's a bolt here and you use the factory one down there. And basically you need one more. This clip right here, you want to remove it. And it's going to give you another hole to bolt it on. Just push that out. Somehow. It's hard to do it with one hand, but you get the idea. Boom. Now you have another hole to bolt it on. Oh wow, it's way too damn big. Six hours later. There it is. Engine bay looks a lot cleaner. Um, this thing I'm gonna have to replace because the gasket they give you is too damn big. So I'm about to run to AutoZone and get a new gasket, but everything else fits perfectly. There's the snorkel. It's gonna feed the air in here. And everything looks good. This clamp, which this is what came, it's like a five inch clamp. That's only three and a half, or no. This is a three inch inlet and the manifold is three inches as well. So I went to AutoZone right here, thank God. And they had one that was three inch and it's exactly perfectly snug. It's not going anywhere. This one was all wobbly, so I was like, screw that. So I had it on for like two minutes, drove to AutoZone, swapped it right here. Other than that, I think it looked awesome. Cleans out the engine bay really nicely. And there you guys have it. Quick install. Oh, damn. Everything's still on. Everything's so good. So 
So I hope you guys liked this video. It was just a quick install on the DNA uh, intake. I went on eBay, I found this DNA intake which eliminates the intake generator. Gave me so much more room in the engine bay. So in my opinion, it is worth it, except that stupid clamp that they give you. So if you're gonna buy this, buy yourself a new clamp. Um, so what do I think of it performance wise? I do feel the car breathing much better. I do feel the throttle response much better. And it just sounds amazing when you're stepping on it. That engine growl is so much more noticeable because of that induction noise. So very happy with it. Definitely would recommend it for 80 bucks in total because the clamp was like nine and that was like 73. So 80 something, definitely worth it. So definitely happy with this mod.